Hello and welcome back to Nashville Super Speedway in the ARCA car. It's attempt number two. I don't normally do this, but I felt like I left a lot on the table that last race after uh, being forced to mow the lawn partway through the race and uh, just completely messing up my qualifying, among other things. This is just such a fun combo. I've already done it a couple more times. I mean, just it's such a good track, Nashville Super Speedway is. And I figure, like, hey, I'll go ahead and just do a recording. Maybe I'll upload it, maybe I won't. Depending on how it goes, if it's entertaining or something, if it's a good race. Green, green, green. Who knows? But, uh, okay. Here comes your first time lap. Hey, I figure I might as well hit that record button and just, uh, yap a little bit. <laughs> maybe, uh, it'll be worth uploading, maybe not. But uh, by virtue of the couple of extra races I've done, I've gotten a little bit more practice out here. Feeling pretty good. Had some good races. But, uh, it's been lots of fun. So hey, if I'm going to have some good racing, then why not get it recorded then? So I'll be pushing harder this lap, see if I can improve on lap number one. Turn one and two. Turns one and two went pretty well, it looks like. Take a wider entry into three and four to maybe help with how loose it gets out of four. I messed it up, though. I had to lift a little bit. I don't think that was a better lap. Four, two, seven, four, three, nine. Yeah. If I had done three and four a little bit better, I might have uh, had better results, but uh, that's fine. Certainly much better than the 30.8 or whatever I hit <laughs> in my other uploaded video. I don't know what I was doing there. I just was not hitting my marks is what I was doing. I can't hit these 30.3s with any level of consistency. I think I've hit this like 30.3 like one time. <laughs> and uh, these guys seem to just be able to pull it out of their pockets for qualifying. That's about as good as I think I could hope to do is about that 30.4. Maybe if I don't mess up 3 and 4, I hit the 30.3, but I don't know, it would have been close. But I'm happy with that, and uh, we got a decently uh, strong field here. I'm still the number 5, but uh, well, it's better than number, number 1 or 2. I feel like I'm getting that so often. <laughs> I constantly am forgetting to set my front brake bias back like this. I mean to do that. I want it all the way back, but I just always forget to change the end car. I changed all the stuff outside of the car, but uh, I forgot to change the end car. It's not I'm gonna make too much of a difference. Not out here trying to make it an excuse, but it can help with the turn in just a little bit. Get it, get it to the bottom of the track. Now you want to be uh, hitting that brake and getting the car to turn with the brakes. And uh, well, it can help. So we'll just run us some more laps here so we have something to keep us occupied while people either uh, do their laps or choose not to hit the blue button for whatever reason. Just drifting outside of the corners because whatever. P5. I felt like I hit a good lap too and I still got uh, P5 here. So we got some, we got some fast guys in here. I'm about at... Uh, where am I? I'm around the 4100 I rating range, so we got uh, people higher than that. I should really get the uh, some of the add-on stuff, like the race labs or whatever, to see some of the information that can be pretty useful. I, I tried downloading that once before, but I couldn't get it onto my screen in a way that I was comfortable with. Let me turn to my four speed back so it's high. A little bumpy. 6.3 is fine. It's, uh, I guess I can go ahead and pull over and at least uh, show you the settings I got. It's nothing unusual, just something to do. I got bumped back to sixth. I feel like I've been doing an alright job of tire saving this week so far, though, so um, at least we'll be able to do that. <clears throat> oh, we're ready to go. That's good timing. Yeah, so I just got... I chose 14-1 to help with the little looseness. 
on exit, particularly at a four, that can get really loose. And then uh, personal preference, I have negative 50 on the steering offset. I don't like the way the ARCA car naturally pulls. And then the brake bias all the way back. That's what I got. So we're P6. Big full lobby here, 23 people. And no one below Division 5, it looks like. Right around there. We got one person's not even here. All right, let's uh, let's get going. Excited. We got uh, Kyle in here. He's got his channel uh, Storm Surge, I believe is what it is. Apologies if I'm misremembering. I have the memory of a deceased hamster or something. I don't know. But uh, good luck, everybody. Do this, and here we go. Very excited for some more Nashville Super Speedway. It's kind of too bad that, uh, presumably, the Cup Series is going to have to choose, like, either Nashville Super Speedway or the Fairgrounds. Maybe not, but presumably you would think they have to, like, pick one <laughs> instead of having two Nashville races. Maybe they don't. Maybe they'll go ahead and do it. I mean, they have, like, I don't know, Homestead and... and Daytona, yeah, but no I don't know, maybe that's not a good comparison. But uh, I've heard when people were talking about uh, Nashville Super Speedway, they're like, oh, well, the Cup Series all is going to run here one. for a little bit until they get the fairgrounds all built up, and then probably not the Super Speedway anymore. One to go. That Take would be too bad. Right. I like this place. Not only is it fun to drive, but it seems to promote clean racing as well, which is all very good stuff. Let's see, where did a uh, Kyle qualify? Or did he not qualify? No, there he is. Like there, 15th? Oh, I wish him luck in this race. Hopefully it's a fun one. And I've been doing second gear start. You can kind of get a jump with first gear, but I don't know. I just uh, rather forego the uh, shifting aspect and just go ahead and jam the jam the throttle when it's time to go. To go Keep it green. simple. Stay Put some car Be ready. And we're off, the people in front of us are not. <laughs> They'll lift a tiny bit. Oh, we're kind of going slow here. Being real careful on the cold tires, I guess. That makes sense. Can't blame them for that. Still inside. Clear inside. Inside. Ooh, a tiny bit of wall in front of me. I don't like that. Not what I want to see. A little loose, but we're okay. I think when it comes to passing, you probably want to be on the outside. It always seems to be uh, the case for me. Probably not good for the tires to be doing this, but track position will be nice. Oh my gosh, this guy's really going slow through the corner. Can't run into him though. Gotta make sure that I'm not uh, running him over. He's like hitting the wall in the exit of four every time. <laughs> Maybe it's just uh, his connection or something, but sure it looks like that's what he's doing. Alright, so started P6, we're in P4 now. It does get a little more tough to pass later on. So I'm kind of happy with being able to. Uh, Get the pass done early. Hey, 
best lap in this session. The guy behind has just done a 30.7. I don't know if this guy's actually hitting the wall or not, but <laughs> it's making me nervous. Seems like the exit of every corner, he's like given a little tiny tap. Lap traffic already. They must have had an issue. We're gonna get out of our way. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear up top. Kind of hangs out there a little bit for whatever reason, but we're fine. The way I've been driving uh, has been doing an okay job of saving tires, so I'm not too concerned about going too fast or hard right now. Um, I'm kind of trying to make an effort, because I get loose on exit, uh, to hit the gas a little uh, harder on exit to get the rears kind of evened out. So that way it's not just the right front, it's getting the, uh, the heat and all that blah blah blah. So. Plus, it's uh, faster if you can control the looseness. Sounds like a win-win there. So, good for everyone. Unless I spin out. Very good combo this week, though. I definitely recommend it if you're curious about it. Remember, I was on the uh, Irising forums, and someone was like, uh, "Should I buy Nashville Super Speedway for the upcoming ARCA race?" And uh, plenty of people answered already, but I just wanted to shout, "Yes, you should! It's very fun." And that was before I even did the race yet, when I saw that post, because I just knew it was going to be good. We've kind of stagnated a little bit. Just gonna make sure that I'm not uh, making any mistakes. Making sure that I am being nice to the tires. I guess I can get the last lap up. I think I'm turning in a little early. I think I want to take a wider arc going forward. Dove it in behind us. Drove it in hard. Very much appreciate not being taken out. Had to chase it up the track a little bit there. That lap was a thirty-one point zero. This guy behind us fades off soon, because he's uh, taking the entry much harder, which is going to be harder on his right front, but I'm afraid he's going to get the nose on us, and then we're going to be stuck side by side, and then we're both going to get slowed down because of it, and he's just going to drag us down. So I'm hoping he can't get the nose on us by diving it in. It looks like he's trying. feels good. It's feeling loose on exit, which I like. I'd like it to stay that way, because it's much better than being tight on exit. The lap time was at 31.0. You feel pretty good about how I'm driving at, the, at this point. Those two guys up front are uh, pretty far out there, but... I gotta remember, these are the guys hitting the easy 30.3s. They're probably just a step ahead of me. 
on pace. Too big. This guy just has a blank white car for us to look at instead of an interesting sponsor or something. <laughs> Not that I'm looking much at him. I'm more looking at my uh, at my uh, breaking point markers and uh, the apex or whatever. I'd say the bottom line, but the bottom of this track doesn't have a line. It's just the apron. That was an actual hit. I was not ready to take that angle into the corner. But uh, hey, that makes that pass easy. Alright, nice. Now those guys could fight for as long as they want back there. Go ahead and do that. Give me some room. Mm, too low. Almost got the apron there. Something really nice about a bigger track where you have to actually hit the brakes. Hit him pretty good too. Get to the right angle here. Did get turned and get to the bottom and everything? There's no longer getting uh, as loose on exit anymore. Make sure I'm uh, keeping ahead of things, uh, backing it down plenty enough, so that way I'm not hurting my tires too much. So the 12 has passed the 1, it looks like, behind us. After the 1 got into the wall. Not sure uh, if we're pulling away or not. behind us. These two guys I had are real fast. Oh, loose. Go high. Man, I thought that it was uh, going to stop sliding for a moment there and just kind of kept going. That's not okay, ideal. Colton, that's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. The gap ahead is now <laughs> Thank you, crew chief. Good to know I'm good on fuel. I definitely was worried about that. I mean, to be fair, in my first attempt, I had to use the pit exit, so it's probably uh, making a joke on my expense. Right, my expense. P three. I might have been too hard on the on the car. I thought I was doing alright. I've been driving it like I have been the past couple times, but it's feeling like it's a little bit uh, tighter than the last couple of runs I've done here. It's gotten a little too tight, a little too soon. It might have been fighting on the outside earlier in the race for those couple of laps. Uh, maybe I was just pushing a little bit too hard. Sure. Try to keep my rhythm here. Oh, it looks like the 1 got past the 12 again. Interesting. So they've been fighting some more, maybe. Maybe the uh, 12 got in the wall or something. You've just done a 31.4.
don't know about these tires, man. I'm not falling off on pace very much, but they, it's just it's feeling pretty tight. We still got a lot of race to go. It's not exactly where I would want it to be right now. That was at 31.4. Correct there. So I guess I can talk about what I'm using as breaking points if it wasn't obvious. I mean, I've always got my uh, inputs on the bottom left down there. Those are probably hard to see. What I'm looking at when I'm doing my laps is uh, this blue advertisement here, right when I get my uh, the rear of the car over there is where I kind of start hitting the brakes. Okay, Colton, that time's pretty consistent. There's like an identical uh, advertisement. Over here, yeah, same spot, same thing. So a pretty easy braking point to keep, keep uh, track of. So that's nice. So the number one found some speed. I might be in trouble. Maybe I just lost speed, because it looks like there's several people behind us all of a sudden. Man, did my tires just fall off a cliff? What's going on? I knew something wasn't right. I knew something didn't feel right. Fortunately, I don't think it took care of my tires enough this time. So this guy's right on me all of a sudden. Really hoping he doesn't run in the back of me. It'd be hard for him to pass, though, because... Later in these runs, it gets pretty difficult. He's right on my bumper, though. He's gonna get it done. One single run, and then he'll get it. He'll get me. I'm sure. Your lap time was 31.5. Like he took a wider arc there to get a run off. This this might be it. No, he's not there yet. Inside. He's gonna dive it in. Goes on me, but hold your line. You say, man. Keep high. Bending it. Keep high. Got ten left to go. How come time was? That's one point seven. Still inside. Clear inside. Slide job me. All right. Got it close, but he had it. Was a Number three is right behind us too. We might end up just uh, right on the outside of the top five here, or right on the edge of the top five. Fifth is what I'm trying to say. Just uh, didn't do as good a job saving tires this time, I guess. Such a fun race, though.
kind of missed the mark there. Who can tell if the one's actually hitting the wall? I know he did the one time, but... <laughs> he must have. He just cannot get away from that wall. I dive it in on. I don't think step me. It's faster anyway, so what am I going to get from going side by side? I'm probably going to not get the spot and then also get passed by three. So that, there was no reason to do that. Certainly hasn't pulled away though. We're still right here. You got five left to go. Pretty good, actually. It got it got loose on exit just a tiny bit for the first time in a while. Lap times are pretty consistent. He overdrove that, maybe. Nice, nah, fine. Looks like he went in so much harder than I did, and I guess he was able to make it stick. Yeah, wall contact ahead, it looked like. I don't know. Jordan, Jason, I'm starting the high side in one and two. Looks like there's going to be a battle for the lead. Might be a very exciting finish up there. Last race I did here that I didn't record, there was a photo finish. I came in third behind him. I got front row seats to it. in the wall good. Two left to go. Two to go. Outside. Keep low. Charter. Get a podium here. Two to go. The last lap was out. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. I, just, I don't think I can clear. pass on the inside. I think you want to be on the outside. He's really had a love affair with that wall this race though. That lap time was 31.9. Car outside. Clear outside. Really bad time for that lap traffic to show up. Get it all we got. Nah, <laughs> there was never a chance. Great racing, that was a lot of fun. B4, well done, mate. Good finish. All right, there's the ticket flag. Okay. Great job, you did really well. Fourth place. We were able to hold on to fourth there. Had a shot at third, but not quite. Very good battle. And uh, number two gets the win. I'm very happy with that finish. That's so much better than the other one I uploaded, so I'm going to go ahead and give this one a, an upload as well. Hope uh, no one minds a repeat. Uh, how did uh, yeah, how did Kyle do? Yeah, got uh, 13th. Same as the car number. Cool to... See ya in a race. Uh, woo. Good to see ya. It was a fun one. I don't know, I'm awkward. I'm horrible at talking. <laughs> Do, do, do. And we'll go ahead and see the incidents.
turn it down a little bit. Well, I was guessing you saved up your tires. Um, I did my best. I did getting the end, but uh. Manageable, that's the word I was thinking of. Manageable. Let me uh, go ahead and let them know what I had. 7280. 7280. That's what I ended. All right, incidents go, and it was a little loud. Do that okay. Actually, seventy-two eighty is much better than I thought it was going to be. Oh no, loose on lap one. Yeah, another another guy getting sideways too. Those cold tires, man. They'll get you. That's a cool AC Delta, uh, Delco scheme, though. That's a classic. There's the one. They were hitting the wall so many times, and they still beat us. They're fast. I think uh, they might have been up there with those other two guys if they were able to keep off the wall a little more. Twenty-two eighty-nine. Yeah. We didn't throttle enough. Yeah, it's uh, if you fight through the looseness, it can help out, but uh, as long as you don't spin it. Alright, AC Delco having some more trouble. Wow, they just uh, didn't have the brakes or something. Yeah, I think I'm still figuring that one out now on top of it. Well, hit. Thirty-two already. It was a pretty, pretty clean race. Just had some wall hits. It looks like. Got some really tight race cars. It looks like really having trouble getting on the gas. This is the guy behind me. I didn't even notice him hit the wall. Yeah, pretty good though. That's probably wall hit, if anything. Got some blinkage. A lot of nothing there. Wall hit. That's a pretty heavy wall hit. Man, it was like super clean for the first like 30 laps, and then once everyone's tires started uh, getting really bad. Got a bunch of wall hits, but uh, hey, that's it. Pretty clean race, and we got ourselves a top five and a much better result than the first one I uploaded. So, uh, again, hope you don't mind that uh, we had a repeat here, but I think this one was much better. 
and uh, it was lots of fun too. So I uh, hope you uh, found it fun to watch, and uh, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.